Hello, my name's Mike. I want to talk to you today about blurred vision, blurred vision and diabetes. So why do some people with diabetes get blurred vision? Well, it, it's uh, an early indication that your blood glucose level is running high, hyperglycemia, as we call it, uh, or there's uh, some damage occurring behind the eye. So uh, either way, it's good to get your eyes tested. However, uh, going to see an optician uh, when your blood glucose levels are running high is difficult. It's difficult for the ophthalmologist or optician to determine whether uh, the blurred vision is, uh, or your eyes or your glasses, your glasses strength, is actually needs uh, calculating before we stabilize our blood glucose level. I hope that makes sense. So we need to stabilize our blood glucose level really before we go to see an optician to have our glasses changed because our vision might come back to normal once we stabilize our sugar levels. So what happens? What causes blurred vision? Well, glucose enters the bloodstream and if we can't produce enough insulin to clear it, it stays in the bloodstream and it goes behind the eye. And it goes behind the eye. Now, glucose or sugar is a large molecule, water are small molecules and they will always follow. They will follow large molecules, water molecules will. So pressure builds up behind the eye. Because the pressure gets so intense, it distorts the lens, causing blurred vision. And that's what really causes that uh, blurred vision. So it's an ind indication that there's too much glucose in our bloodstream that needs clearing. We need to bring it below 8 millimoles per litre. So you may get blurred vision, uh, and if you've tested and your sugar level's 14, 16 millimoles per litre, then that's an indication, obviously, that there's some damage occurring behind the eye. So what is that damage? That damage, we call it retinopathy or damage or blood vessels bursting behind the eye. So retinopathy, uh, the pressure builds up so much that a blood vessel will burst. Then another blood vessel will burst behind the eye. And then the eye will try and repair itself. And uh, it, it'll repair itself over or recreate another pathway for the blood flow uh, across the retina, causing retinopathy. And it's a bit like having a crack in the car windscreen, then another crack then another crack and all of a sudden now you can't see where you're going in the car because uh, you can't see through the windscreen. So retinopathy. So to reduce the risk of blurred vision and retinopathy, we need to stabilize our blood, gluc blood glucose levels, keep them between that safe room, that between four millimoles per liter and eight millimoles per liter. Keep it as often as you possibly can in that safe room and that will reduce the blurred vision and if you still have blurred vision, it, when, once your blood glucose levels are stable, then it might be because your glass, glasses strength isn't uh, adequate, or you may need to see the optician anyway to get glasses. But either way, stabilizing your blood glucose level before you see an optician, and that's why they always ask you and say, how are your sugar levels going? Because they need to know, or they, need to, they don't want to prescribe or give you glasses that are not going to be no good to you once you've stabilized your blood glucose level and everything's come back to normal and then you've almost got normal vision. You've been listening to Mike.